Hey everybody, it's time for another episode of Mr. Troy Does Math, a chill video series where I do math so I can show you how I think about it. Here we go. Alright, I've got a problem type called Determine Features of Polynomial Graphs. Remember, I haven't looked at these problems. Okay, the polynomial function f is graphed below. Fill in the form below regarding the features of the graph. Okay, so I'm going to tell you some things that I notice about it. Um, its end behavior is pointing down in both directions. It's not symmetrical about the y-axis. Because, um, like, this isn't the ver... Um, isn't the relative maximum, isn't lying on the axis, and these two points are not at the same height, and neither are these two points. Um, it would have a negative leading coefficient. Oh, well here, the degree is even because the ends are pointing in the same direction, and the leading coefficient is negative because the right end is going downwards. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, real zeros and one, two, three relative maximum values. A relative maximum is like a turning point where it goes up and then back down again. Let's see how I did. I mean, sure. Hey, nice. Okay, and it kind of picked those out for me. I like it. I wonder if they're all the same. Well, let's see. The degree of f is even again. The lead coefficient is negative again. There are, well, there are three real zeros. One has a multiplicity of two, so we'll see how they interpret that. And one relative minimum, just here. All right. So when they said the number of real zeros, they meant the distinct real zeros, which is what I would agree with. But you know, you never know with vocab. Okay, these all look the same. Let me go find some new problems. Okay, we're gonna look at end behavior algebraically. So here's a function f. Okay, um, so I've got a fifth degree function. They made me look for it. So the ends are going to point in opposite directions and the lead coefficient is positive 10. So as we go to the right the graph is going to be going upwards. Well, upwards. So as x approaches infinity, now they put this backwards. So as x approaches infinity, y approaches infinity. And as x approaches negative infinity, y approaches negative infinity. I'm a little nervous about this because I find all of this very hard to read, but we'll see how I did. Now, how am I supposed to read that? Come on, guys. This is supposed to be a chill video series. Don't stress me out. Okay, good. So this is really all you have to think about. Ooh, I like this. Okay. So same as x cubed. Arrow goes right and up, arrow goes left and down. Actual graph, FYI. You don't actually need to see this. This is great. Okay, I had to click through for a little bit, but I found one that was different. Um, the function f of x is defined below. What is the end behavior? So I've got a highest power of 4. So my ends are going to point in the same direction. So I'm looking for something that's either infinity, infinity, or negative infinity, negative infinity. I don't want opposites here. So as x goes to the positives, y should be going to the negatives. And as x goes to the negatives, y should be going to the negatives. Let's see if that's it. All right, cool. So this has the same end behavior of negative x squared. I like that. Okay, same degree and leading coefficient, same type of degree, even, and leading coefficient, negative. All right, I think that's as good a place as any to end. This is a short one. Um, oh, I get it. It's like his background. 
What do you know? Thank you.